Right, excellent. You, you gotta say it like... You gotta say it excellent, like in that one movie. Uh, what movie was that? Like, uh... Wayne's World. Oh. <laughs> he does like the stupid uh, ass, like... He said, doesn't he say it in Japanese at one point? Yeah, like he just keeps like saying it and saying it and saying it. He says it all fucking stupid. Remember they put it in that one game too, and every time they said it, they were like, excellent. Whenever they got like an item or something. Yes, yes, I do. Didn't the Angry Video Game Nerd review that game once? I, I, I'm I, pretty sure, yeah. Like, I don't see anyone else really reviewing that game. We gotta start our, 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 um, our podcast like, Wayne's World, Wayne's World, Wayne's World. Like, make it sound autistic so, like, we can, like, clickbait viewers. And then they're going to be, like, disappointed the <laughs> second they join. We're, we're going to gonna have to buy you a, a, a little wig, like, girth. And we got to, like, like kind of Was that actually headbang. a wig? I thought it was, like, his actual hair. I think it's an actual wig. Like, he wears a wig throughout Wayne's World, too. But... That's for another conversation, but we're actually here because um, we had the topic of having uh, the double standards in the world of social medias like YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and a lot of places out there. But um, we're we were actually talking about like we're about like the double standards between the you know what women can get away with and men can't and what's really frustrating is like to the point where it's like unfair there's like an un unfair game here what do you know about this Blair um well I mean for the most you know up to date example would be the whole situation with our you know dog loving queen uh, you know, she recently did something really bad, like, on stream. And, you know, there there was even, like, videos proving that there was, like, a moderator or two, like, you know, live watching her. Really? And, yeah, like, there's actually, like, a few videos that point out, like, okay, you know, we get that she gets special treatment. But the fact that there was actually, like, a moderator and, you know, he didn't ban her, she ended up having to... You know, say, okay, guys, you know, I'm going to go take a time out. It was, like, really, like, it was just so infuriating because, you know, <laughs> she knows that, you know, she has more power than, you know, most people. You think he pulled a, a quickie on that one? Because I don't know. That's just Dude, I, I wouldn't doubt it. Like, you know, we have seen how they're always promoting, like, their Instagram, their Twitter. And, you know, most of those streamers, you know, I don't know if they would be offended but they're like you know eat thoughts so they always kind of post pictures where they're like you know basically like in shorts or they're like laying down on the bed and you know though you know um we're both guys you know women are attractive but i'm guessing considering like a lot of the moderators they're behind the computer and mon and you know and monitor the whole day so i'm guessing whenever they get that kind of like attention from like a girl they just get so like, you know, they start white knighting, which I'm sure like they would probably defend ethos sooner than they would probably defend like their mom or something. But you know what? You know what's crazy though? There's been like so many like conspiracy theories out there, and the one I hear a lot is that Alinity is actually blackmailing the CEO of Twitch, which is fucking crazy to believe. If that's the case. There has to be something shady going on behind the closed doors, don't you think? Yeah, because I mean, there's been YouTubers that kind of um, have done similar things. And, you know, granted, they have like less clout than Alinity, but they get like banned like immediately. Like, you know, you kind of tell your friend, your friend kind of says like, oh, no way. And then they kind of like look it up and, you know, they're already gone, like within the hour. Um, but, like. Uh Alinity was like, you know, immune to that. She did it on purpose. She had to do it on purpose. She, she just um, wanted that attention. It looked like it was intentional. Because her reaction was off, in my opinion. 
Like, yeah, like honestly, if you like look at the video, like you know, it kind of slips, and then like a few seconds later, she kind of like you know does like the <gasps> face where she kind of like opens her mouth. I sh- I should reenact it for this podcast. <laughs> Just video myself and like putting like a balled up sweater underneath my shirt and like lift my shirt up like really like high up and kind of like dramatically react to it. I should really do that. But <laughs> but honestly, like the delay, like in her reaction, and you know, like you said, she probably like did it on purpose. Attention. There's no reason why she would have been, you know, kind of doing that to begin with. Like, that's you know, that's dumb. Like, if anyone thinks that it was an accident. What's what's so incredible though? What I find very incredible about the situation though, is is like the fact that she had to like go to twitch on twitter and asked him for a ban like she really wanted a ban because she felt very i guess quote unquote guilty about it and i feel like she didn't really care at all because she even had to ban herself even before uh, Twitch itself banned her for one day, which is ridiculous. There's people out there who get banned for more than three days. Hell, even more than that. Just for like, you know, just to show more of what they usually show. You know what I mean? Like, Yeah, it's, it's so like disgusting how like she's able to pretty much, you know have them in the palm of her hand and she's the one that pretty much got herself banned she's the one that kind of like brought the attention to them it doesn't count it just doesn't count i it's like if if you can't ban yourself before the giant social media bans you it just doesn't work like it doesn't count that's what i'm yeah, saying it's, it's like if when you're like a little kid and you kind of like you know you're playing with the ball and you break something yeah and like your dad gets home and he's like sitting on the bed next to you. And it's like, if you pull your pants and like you throw yourself on him so so you can get spanked, it's like, no, like, you know, you're supposed to kind of like talk about the situation. If you're kind of, you know, saying, okay, let me get this over with. It proves that you haven't learned anything because you're just trying to kind of, you know, move along and go back to normal. (laughs) Uh, But yeah, I I get, I get your point. It's. It's a, it's a good point, a far-fetched point, but uh, I agree with you on that. I I feel like I feel like Alinity should be like I don't think she she needs to be canceled. Honestly, I feel like there should be like a a little bit of more punishment. Maybe kind of lose some some, you know, partnerships. I think that would be nice, but at the same time who knows? No, I don't even know what sponsor who sponsors her. Maybe she's not sponsored, but maybe she is. But it just makes me kind of like, kind of like think about it. I mean, honestly, like going to the whole sponsorships, I'm pretty sure I'm not, you know, 100% sure you can, you know, you can correct me if I'm wrong. But I'm confident that the majority of people that are kind of like, you know, the cookie cutter ethod that are like, you know, girls playing video games. They usually have like a Patreon or some kind of like, you know, secondary or alternative way to get money apart from like ads. Uh, back out. Uh, it's, a, it's a backup account. That's what it is. Honestly, if, look, here's the thing. If I was, if I was the uh, goddess of Twitch, the dog fucker herself, I, honestly, I wouldn't even care at all. I mean, even if I lost, if maybe, even if, if freaking, what's his name? Uh, the CEO, isn't it, isn't his name like Emmett? I'm not even sure. Like, I, I'm not trying to be rude, but whenever, Emmett Shear, that's his name. Whenever they kind of bring up that guy, I just, you know, pretend that he doesn't exist. You know, he can be a soy boy, like all he wants, but I just... I can't stand that kind of behavior, I guess, as a as a man myself. So I, I don't even know anything about the guy for that reason, because it's just like so. He's like such a, you know, pandering guy towards women. Twenty twenty dollars. He has a tramp stamp of of uh, <laughs> the goddess herself. 
Dude, I wouldn't doubt it. I'm pretty sure, like, he kind of called her up or something, and he, like, gave her, like, a slap on the wrist. Because there's no way that, you know, they didn't kind of message each other during this situation. I'm not going to lie to you, but I'm not saying, I'm not saying he does, but he looks he looks a little off. Um, for a guy. <laughs> but, I mean, as, as much as I respect him as a CEO, I mean... Honestly, I feel like he can do way better with Twitch itself. I think Twitch can become like way, way better. There's a lot of like stuff that can be done to make Twitch a better community. But I feel like he doesn't actually try. I feel like no one's trying. I'm but. pretty sure like when you kind of get down to it, you know, money talks and, you know, I get it, you know, why ban this person that's bringing in like a bunch of viewers and revenue? So maybe that might have something to do with it. But even on top of that, you know, the special treatment that, you know, Mr. CEO presents to like the women, it's very, it's really biased, like compared to unattractive women that kind of, you know, mess up too, versus, you know, like attractive women, which have like this shield of immunity you know, speaking of that, there is also another um, YouTuber. I don't know if you ever heard of a little video called uh, Apex Boners. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I, you... I, I did hear about it, but I thought it was more of a meme kind of thing, you know, where they have like a stupid, silly name, but like it's nothing about that. But. Well, he, the funny thing is that, um, short story short, I was on Facebook today and one of my friends shares a video and I clicked on it and it's actually a video of Apex Boners 2 on Facebook. So I commented her, uh, on her post, I, I commented and I said, I hope she got banned for that. And she's like, why? And I'm like, well, because... You know, there's a general swap somewhere there, and, and I were this character, uh, you know, and I was moaning and telling women I'm horny, then I'd be getting my ass canceled on Twitter by Keemstar himself. So <laughs> I don't want that. So, and that's the thing, there, there's double standards in there, and it's, I, I find it very ridiculous. Yeah, like, for starters, the fact that you said, if you were to do that, go on a game, start, you know, messing around, acting stupid, being very suggestive towards people. Yes. You know, despite their gender, they would, you know, assume, oh, this guy's a creep. He's a, you know, pedo, you know, he's trying to, like, you know, steal people away or whatever. But you know when a girl does it you know god forbid you say that she's in the wrong because that double standard you know it's not wrong when a woman does it only when a guy does it it's funny when the girl does it it's creepy when the guy does it and, and that's the uh, double standards on, on, on all of this um, youtuber demonetized that's your name uh, it's it's demonetized that's actually the <laughs> way like you pronounce it. Goddamn. And I mean, we're here to kind of like express ourselves as men. And, you know, I, I believe in equality. I believe in, you know, you know, good things come to you and bad things come to you, depending on your morality system. But to me, I feel like you can tell the men in there were like very awkward in that video. They're, they were very awkward, and I feel like a couple of guys in that same video were like, what the fuck, you know? And it just yeah. makes me just, uh, it just boils my blood, Jimmy, you know? No, I, I completely understand, Chuck. I mean, when I want to play a game of Apex, I want to win, you know? I want to win, but you get like, you know, you're like me, you have no friends. And you get like a random and a friend of yours or whatever. And the random is kind of, you know, saying all these weird things like, 
oh, I'm 19 years old, but if you want, I'll be 12 years old for you. You know, it's weird. It's creepy. You get like goosebumps. But the fact that it's a girl doing it, the majority of people say like, oh, she's so funny. But it's really creepy because even like you said, the guys that were kind of like trying to win, trying to play the game, they kind of have to deal with her like acting stupid and klutzy. And, you know, she didn't sugarcoat it. Like a few times she was saying like, oh, I'm horny. And it's very distracting. Like, yo, what the heck? I'm trying to play Apex Legends. If I wanted to kind of, you know, choke my chicken over here, I would go look up Alinity on OnlyFans or something or look up iDubbbz's his girlfriend. But no, you know. Does I'm she playing. have an OnlyFans? <laughs> I, I'm not sure, you know. I'll bet you $100 she does. She just hasn't publicized, uh, publicized the, the fucking video or the fucking page itself. I Are mean, you able to kind of be like anonymous, kind of just show off your body but not your face? Because, I mean, you might be on to something there if you're able to kind of be anonymous. You there. can probably do that, but, you know, looking at the 4chan people that have actually discovered so many things in the past before, I wouldn't be surprised that people will catch up and be like, hey, that's her. Oh, yeah, like, oh, that's her birthmark. I know that birthmark. Yeah, because a lot of that time, you know, on their Instagrams and stuff, they'll post pictures where they're kind of, like, dressed really skimpily. And, again, it's, you know, more power to them. If they feel, oh, I can post this and be happy, you know, more power to them. But I, I don't – I wouldn't doubt it. Like, the fact they dress, I wouldn't doubt that they have, like, an OnlyFans because they're so comfortable with their bodies, you know. Why not, right? It's a few more bucks on the side. Honestly, I feel like like her OnlyFans is made somewhere. It exists somewhere. She just has an. I feel like she has it on private, with no pictures or anything uploaded. And uh, I feel like if anything ever happens, like if Twitch doesn't work for her, she's gonna run to the money train, which is gonna be OnlyFans. <laughs> and I, I bet you a hundred dollars within a day or two, she's going to announce her only fans account and you know and it works for her because she already has the fan base yeah a lot of them are very like pandering to the you know single guys so they're very they're always going to have an audience because you know single guys that are you know lonely and horny will always tune in to the thoughts she's abysmal i mean if you're a woman in this world you're blessed <laughs> I wouldn't say 100% plus because I, I I can understand that you know so, you know some people grow up di you know different and you know I, we we can't all expect the same childhood we had but growing up as and becoming humans like adults it's like a whole different role there because then you know if you're a woman especially if you grow a nice body and all you have the perks in life to like give you money in your in your hand especially living in this internet you know, age that we're living in right now and it's gonna get worse i'm telling you uh, it's i know it sounds like a conspiracy theory but the way i'm looking at this uh we're going to hell everyone this this whole fucking place is gonna burn one day but I, I don't know. It's just very concerning the the way it is. And lately on on Twitter, I've just been seeing a lot of simp's against all the e thotties, and e thotties are being canceled, and simp's are being canceled. But usually, or and what's funny about it is that usually the guy gets canceled more than the girl does, which is kind of fucked up. But you know, what can yeah, we do? I mean like you said they're always wanting equality but you know bottom line is they like the attention they like all the compliments they yeah. like you know being held in such a pedestal yes and if you were to equalize everyone you know i'm pretty sure a lot of women that are that have that mentality like oh i'm pretty i'm young you know i have all these people that support me you know, they would not live, like, working a real, you know, hard-earned job. Yeah. Because they're so, like, you know, again, I get it. Some of them might have raised, been raised, like, more conservative. But 
like you said, nowadays, everyone is like so open, everyone is sharing their business, everyone is, you know, putting their dirty laundry out in front of everyone, you know, everyone's, you know, tea as the kids say. And it's just like nasty how, you know, women are portrayed nowadays and they're kind of doing it to themselves. They're kind of like supporting the negative connotations of being like a attractive woman. Now, not not everything and you know, you know, there's there's also been, you know, bad situations too. You know, not to be a total simp here, but there's been um there's been girls on Twitter who barely turn 18 and all of a sudden they become you know, they get attacked because they start announcing their only fans. And um, there's a good example here. Um, Twitter, there's a, someone named uh, Kagame with a K. And um, her name's Aidy. And that's her Twitter name. But what, what I'm saying here is, uh, I think a couple weeks ago, she had barely turned 18, correct? Then mm-hmm. she's like, uh, I turned 18. I'm going to create an OnlyFans account. I can't wait for this. Then they started. They started sending her like death threats. They started like, like telling her to go kill herself for for doing an OnlyFans account and for not getting a real job or go to school. You know. And you know, with a heart, it made me feel bad because that's just me. You know, and I'm you know, and. Some people should be ashamed of themselves for being like that, you know. That's just me, but I don't know. But what what do you think about that? I mean, I would assume like, you know, older women, they're not as hostilized, I guess. Like they're not as hostile to them because they are like older. But maybe, you know, deep down seeing like a young girl pretty much turn 18 and do like an OnlyFans. Maybe like they have like that internalized, oh, you know, uh, what do you call it? Like they're they're kind of dismissing her as like, oh, you're dumb. You know, you're throwing your life away. You're nothing but like, you know, a slut or whatever. Because, you know, there is a lot of like slut shaming. And, you know, the people that do get slut shamed the most are usually on the younger side. Or they have a very small platform where they can't really defend themselves. Well, they don't have a large fan base. Yeah, like it's easier for them to be kind of like kicked around because of that. Yeah, so you have no clout. You only got 100 followers. And for you to announce, hey, you know, only fans. Then you're basically, you know, getting kicked around like you said. And it, it really bothers me and, you know... The Sims that told her to go kill herself, you know, y'all should be ashamed of yourselves. You know what I mean? But in that case, you know, honestly, me, if if I were like a relative of her, I would have said, hey, you know, there's better things than this. Yeah, I feel like a woman should kind of uh, yeah, like us being show a little we have that kind of a conservative mentality where yes. you don't want like a, you know, relative or something doing a kind of job like that. Cause there, there is kind of like a negative stigma to it. Yes. You think maybe it's really alluring cause it's such an easy thing. You know, you just turn on a webcam, spend like, you know, an hour and a half and you know, you're pretty much getting money. That's an easy thing to do. That's, that's, <sighs> I, I feel like a woman should show respect, you know, you know, representable respect in that case, you know, someone that, you know, dresses properly, you know, isn't showing a lot. It's okay to show, but don't do it excessively. But that's just my opinion. And, you know, my opinion may not matter to you, but, you know, it can matter to someone else. But yeah, you, like I, I do agree with you. Like on some parts, there, like I, I get it. If they want to show skin, 
if they feel comfortable like in their body they can but they should realize that you know they're gonna get negative attention along with that and you know i'm not trying to blame them but a lot of the times that they do get kind of like misrepresented it's because they're kind of dressing a certain way and then they get attention from the certain way they're dressing and then they act like oh wow you know guys are such creeps or why am i getting all this you know bad attention bad publicity it is what it is my dude yeah it is what it is i mean there's nothing we can really do this is more of a social like a society movement towards the future I mean, yeah, ever, if if one person does it, everyone starts doing it. It's it's a train. We all want to be someone out there, you know. And you know, yeah. it's it's frightening, but I mean, that's how we humans are. I mean, my my biggest inspirations out there are a lot of you know, YouTubers like Ray William Johnson, you know, you know, Red and Link. Those those guys are great. You know, I know I don't do similar content to them, but seeing them as a young teenager made me realize I wanted to do YouTube. And Vinny Vine Sauce, you know, has also been a great inspiration for me. And I, I know Rainbot out there, I don't really listen to her <laughs> for that reason. I've told you before, but I've I used to like her I used to like her content but I'm I'm I guess I can appreciate her being on YouTube and making content for other people to enjoy and watch. So it's it's always one thing and it's always going to be unfair no matter which way you're pointing at and there's never going to be like a hundred percent agreement between both males and females and like ages and not having clout, etc. But I hope things do get well or better. And um, if there's ever another nip slip from the goddess herself, then I feel like Twitch should like retaliate twice as hard next time at least to kind of you know, give her a wake up call too. Um, I guess speaking of which, did you kind of hear about that situation with that one girl that was like telling her fans that they should give her money and all that? Ooh, ooh. Really? Oh, I forgot her name, but there was a. I think her name was um. Because there, there's been there's two sim. They're not similar, but you got one who's actually getting sued by like these anime companies i think was, her name was lulu oh yeah she's been like in the news lately no the the girl that i'm talking about is like invader v really yeah like she was really you know egotistical asking you know pretty much telling the people i'm providing you a free service you should give me money was she was and, you she know, acting though uh, I think she was just like on her high horse because she was kind of like just throwing her uh, point of view across and it's kind of like when you're very confident about something and you're kind of like oh I, I can't be talked down from this I'm just gonna you know say it and say it yeah and basically like she got like such a backlash that she had to like make an apology video but you know the same as in it, it's not the same for most people because she did it because a lot of people were hitting on her. Other YouTubers were telling like her fans like, oh, don't give her money. She doesn't deserve it. And you know, it's like a wake up call. And like you're saying like, if you know, the dog goddess herself happens to mess up again, and I'm sure she will, there should be, you know, some consequences that kind of, you know, scare her straight. Like that one show, like where they would show the kids in the jail. Yeah. Cause I mean, you can only mess up so many times before, like, you run out of chances. You know, t um, I, I thought of a great idea, actually. <laughs> okay, What's so I imagine this. Okay, have you, have you ever... We've all played Monopoly before, correct? Right. 
You know when you get a chance card, you sometimes get penalized? Oh, yeah, yeah. Why, why don't we implement a system that works like that on Twitch? Where, for example, someone gets a, a nip slip, they got a, like, what they make for that week or month. I don't know how Twitch pays, but I'm assuming they pay on a monthly basis. There should be like a penalized system. For ex for example, if uh, let's say the, the dot goddess Twitch herself uh, gets another nip slip tomorrow, she gets a fine or she gets X amount of percentage out from that cut for that month. You know what I mean? I think that would work like a good system to the point where people will be twice as much careful and to the point where Twitch becomes a better platform. It's just an idea, but I don't know what you think about it. I don't know if that's a smart or a bad idea because you also got to protect your image, your name. And on top of that, you got children watching her, her content too. And that's right. that's that's pornography to a child's eye. <laughs> <laughs> I oh, mean, man. as sad and you know sadistic it sounds like. I mean, it is what it is. You know, parents don't don't really look at their child nowadays. They're usually on their phones, on their tablets. They usually give their child or their baby a fucking iPad just to watch. You know. YouTube kids or YouTube videos for kids and that's something I wouldn't be you know trustworthy about especially with the YouTube kids drama we had a couple months back I think it was what last year I mean what, but they were kind of pulling out and all that they were like putting like bad imagery like really like like bloody imagery and all that I don't know if you heard about it oh right right so it, it's like something I wouldn't trust. Like me, if I ever had a child, I will not give him an iPad or an iPhone or anything like that. I'm going to raise him like my father raised me. Like how my mother raised me. You know, good heart and support and all that. But, you know, because I feel yeah, like the, technology the, just dumbs you down a lot. And it does. And I feel it, honestly. And I don't know if you felt it too before, but no, of, of course, like, you know, being like an old man myself, I, I do remember a time where not everyone had a phone in their hand, especially yeah. like at school. We're 80 years and, old, know, by the way. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, nowadays, like, cause I'm so used to being on my phone. If I see like a, you know, pretty girl and I try to talk to her, like I stutter and like spaghetti comes out of my pocket, you know, it's horrible. You know, back in the day when you were actually talking to people like face to face, I feel you had a lot more confidence. Now you're just kind of, you know, doubting yourself and, you know, you mess up situations you normally wouldn't. And it's, you know, technology's fault because it, it just messes with your like confidence. Honestly, uh, it, it, what it is is that it, it social distances yourself with the people around you. You got you got something that you're putting so many hours to every day to the point where you start forgetting about your friends and your family. You know, it just gives you anxiety and it gives you like this bad depression because I feel like your mind likes to play tug of war between reality and like the virtual life which is Facebook, Messenger, Twitter and I mean, as as bizarre as it seems, I mean, it, it that's how it feels like. Because I see my mother struggling every day, honestly. And she's always, ever since she got into that Facebook, I've always noticed that she got into the habit of her spending hours in bed and just watching or being on Facebook. And it's concerning. And I, I try to push my mother I'm like hey you know get up let's go do something I try to motivate her I mean yeah I like the internet but I like I like doing stuff too I don't really socialize a lot I'm you know I'm new in this area so I haven't had time to make friends I've maybe one or two people I've met but that's about it but yeah I mean that 
technology, you know, it just gets to you. And like, the same way it gets to the society itself. You know, in the internet age where women sell their bodies more and sims pay premium just for... <laughs> just to see. Premium. Basically, that's all it is. I mean, it's like, it's just curiosity. I mean, you wouldn't want to see the boobs of, like, your favorite, like, you know, Hollywood actor or actress. I mean, you got to be curious about it sometime every now and then. I mean, it's it's just our, it's under our, our manly, I wouldn't, I guess our disgusted manly, you know, things that, you know, women consider it's nasty to to them. But I mean, it's just, I, I, it's just genetics, honestly. I think being perverted is just like a, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just a natural thing. And just being perverted, if animals are perverted, why can't we be perverted? Women are perverted <laughs> too. I don't know. <laughs> but I mean, these have been very interesting topics we've been talking about we go from one Man. girl to another girl to technology then to, to society and then uh, going back to and, and what was her name invader v yeah invader v she's a really beautiful woman i'm not gonna lie oh uh I mean, it's okay. Hey, it's okay to simp. I mean, whoa, whoa. I'm not judging, man. You know, we're <laughs> friends. We've known each other since like the, I mean, you she... know, mid 80s. So I, I completely. Has, has she not done. Has she been doing like other bad things that I'm not aware of? I mean, I, I really never heard of her until she was kind of reprimanding her like audience for not giving her more money. Uh, well, people did attack your gut on Twitter. Yeah, dude, like she got scared straight. She made like an apology video. You know, you see her like reading off her little like sympathetic paper that she has on the side. It's 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 crazy. So she did an apology video. Yeah, she apologized saying that. I mean, she kind of like stood her ground saying that she was 100 percent like, you know, it, like her point was valid like she's not saying that that's not her opinion like she believes that you know genuinely that if you can watch a stream you have enough money to you know give her yeah but you know the way she worded it was very apologetic but she still like stood her ground saying you know my opinion isn't wrong you know real or fake I'm pretty confident anytime anyone makes an apology video, it's disingenuous. Well, she didn't sigh. I mean, she didn't have like the tropes, like she didn't sigh. She didn't have like a dog like Ethan and Hila, you know, they didn't like have like the cheesy music. She didn't do like the obvious ones. <laughs> but I feel when you make an apology video, you're just trying to get the heat off you, which, you know, isn't you're supposed to have the heat on you. You're supposed to be like, you know, feeling that way. But it's like if uh, uh, feels... it's like Dachi, Dashi himself went to Japan or went to China and ate a dog. And like next day, he does an apology video for eating a dog. <laughs> That's a different topic altogether. I mean, <laughs> I hate that guy more than I hate Invader. Hello, hate what dog. up? It's Dachi. Dude, that's horrible. He, he takes a and sigh. He Japan, he's like, ah, Sorry, I ate a dog. Bye bye. It's like, <laughs> it's like the I'm, outro music playing. I, I love him. He's a great guy. I don't I don't mean to disrespect him. We're just here <laughs> just for fun and shits and giggles. But, <laughs> but yeah, I get it. I get what you're trying to explain to me. It's, it's very interesting, actually. It's it's weird that she goes from being a bad bitch to like a very apologetic person, but I feel like she faked it. Uh, if 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 this was if if this was L.A. Noir, I I would probably you would doubt her. <laughs> yeah, I would doubt her really quick. I wouldn't even think about it because you don't do that. I mean, 
I did see the video. The things she said were really mean. And she's also Hispanic, isn't she? I have no idea. Maybe. I mean, it's hard for me to tell because every She looks streamer, Hispanic. It's because they always have like a bunch of like filters. You know, they look really pretty. They have like their face very smoothed out. Very so I can't really tell. Makeup, like, light, light, you know. Yeah, the perfect lighting, makeup. Uh, speaking of um, lighting, uh, every time I look at Leafy videos, like his lighting makes him look like he's a vampire. He's like very pale. I would assume for the most part, a lot of people that are dedicated to, you know, streaming or yeah, yeah. You know, making videos, they're very antisocial to begin with. So they spend a lot of time in their house and, you know, video editing, I'm sure they take a long time. She does look a little dark tone. She doesn't, I think the, like when she's light skinned, I think that's makeup yeah, and lighting. Yeah. yeah. Filters and stuff. But yeah, I mean. As Ming as she sounded like, I mean, she's still pretty regardless. I mean, she, I mean, opposite sex attract anyways. But yeah, what she did wrong, you know, she did wrong. I, I felt like, but I do, I do got to give her props for doing an apology video. Even if she didn't mean it. I mean, at least she stood her, her grounds and she apologized and she talked about her, her childhood, you know, growing up poor and all and that she felt what happened. I feel like what happened is that she got very, um, she got level headed, like very high to the point where she was like narcissistic about herself. All right. And it happens. It's happened to me before. I mean, I think it happens to a lot of people. Actually. Like your friend uh, Ethan, how he got like very egotistical. Yes. Or, or friend it's Ethan. It's crazy how like power corrupts people like that. That's a thing. I mean, it just makes me wonder if 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 there were just I, I you know what if this whole thing. And I'm probably going to sound like a conspiracy theory. What if, like, Hilda and, like, Ethan, like, kind of, like, slipping Jimmy away up to, like, high YouTube? Like, they, they probably knew who where John Tron lived. And they probably kind of, like, played him off just to kind of, like, give him, like, an opportunity. You know, kind of, like, work yourself around meeting people and, like, doing like shady stuff i don't know because I, you know I, I i saw the video where where they were like we used to sell drugs i don't know if you've seen that video before uh i don't think i have well apparently there's a video of h3 h3 where they talk about their past lives before they were youtubers and they were like dope slingers are you serious yeah like, that's not a skit or anything like, it's not it's a skit it's actually like a true story before they became famous. It's a cute story though. Uh, you know, I, I give it props for that. And I, I think they were meant for each other. I mean, you just look at them. Yeah, they were meant for each They're, other. They, they were meant like for each other. They like brother and sister. They're like the perfect couple, man. Yeah, it is. And, and that's a rarity you see in like people's relationships. Honestly, I wouldn't like to be in the boring marriage or boring relationship and that's like the shitty thing about it but I hear a noise downstairs and I'm not even gonna check <laughs> imagine like uh Illinity like swatted you right now <laughs> and you get like swatted shit I'm gonna get swatted they're they're is if you know what it sounds like Sounds like a bug spray being pressed and like you hear like zzz, zzz. That's probably like Emmett. He's like, he's going to knock you out and he's going to delete everything on your computer. Probably. I wouldn't be surprised. But dude, this, this whole stream, I wouldn't say it's a stream, right? It's, this is uh, it's like a cute little cupcake of a video. Yes, that we're actually, you know, we actually took time to investigate, actually. 
Um, but out of all, all out of all of this, what do you think? What is like your opinion on on all of this that we've talked about? Um, people say they want equality, but bottom line is they don't want to lose their power or privileges. Is that it? Yeah, I guess that's it. I guess my opinion. I don't want to get. Yeah. We can't get canceled. You know, it'd be funny if some of these people that we mentioned try to kind of want to take us out of YouTube by giving us a strike. But <laughs> I, I dare you to send this video to uh, Elinity and Vader V and um, the moaning girl, the girl that likes to moan. You know, funny thing, you know what I would have done if that was the case? I would have gone to some ordinary gamers and I hired him as my lawyer. Because that guy knows his shit on, oh, on dude, like... Oh, dude, Mudahara would have had your back like 110%. I love his content. He's one of my favorites out there. In the meantime, that's what I've been watching lately, so... Great, <laughs> great guy. I, I, liked his, I like his videos. Yeah, he's, he's very humble. Very humble. But he's had drama in the past before, but I feel like that should be for another um session don't you think yeah definitely we can talk about uh angels like him that have fallen from grace the the little speckles of stars that the galaxy sees yeah they looking towards Earth. Stars. good well um i guess my opinion on this i feel like women if women want respect you know eye for an eye you get respect i mean if you're if you're good to me respect but like if you're like you know devil standard wise that's sexual harassing to an extent there's children playing apex you don't know who's in these servers so i feel like shit like that shouldn't be like Condemned, you know, people, you know, love, you know, people liking that shit. People like because what it happens is that people want more, and then they're gonna start doing it more, you know. But, yeah, or you're gonna get like copycats that are gonna copy them and pretty much, you know, have no common sense and post that kind of stuff. Then every time I get on Black Ops Four, um, all I'm gonna hear are moans, and I'll have to mute chats all the time per game. oh yeah orange boy is gonna start moaning towards you <laughs> jesus <laughs> the fuck but yeah i mean moaning does get annoying especially that one meme where uh, like a friend sends you a video and you press the the play button and it's like women like woman woman moaning Ugh. and like it looks like a picture of a little worm eating an apple and there's like women in the background just moaning like so loud oh man it happened to me before once in front of my mother and that was so embarrassing so every oh, yeah. time like <laughs> can i say something about a previous topic that we said sure uh there's been a lot of like comments and they have very like i guess childish you know profile pictures and they always say to that one girl that moans like on uh, Apex, I forgot her name. Her name Something is... Something um... uh, They always say like, oh man, I, I wish you hadn't done that. My mom heard. She thought I was watching something bad. And it's really sad because, you know, like you said, they're like kids who are just like watching her saying like, oh, she's funny. And then she all of a sudden starts moaning and then like, you know, your mom or dad in the background hear that and they're like, son, we got to have a talk. And, you know, there's actually like... A, big, a picture where they send her and she kind of said like haha funny meme because the meme was that a lot of kids get caught I guess because she starts moaning out of nowhere yeah. and it's like really it's it's sad you know because she knows that what she's doing is wrong she knows that she's gotten like her kid audience in trouble yet she still does it that's that's just sad it's, it's... dude that's like that's like that's like the bottom of the low dude that's like that's when you're scraping like the bottom and like you look at the little 
like spoon and then it's like keemstar and then like there's like all that gunk at the bottom like you know it's the bottom of the barrel like the grimiest of grime <laughs> she's like okay doing it demonetize that, that's her name demonetize us ellie we're not promoting anyone we're just here just expressing our, our opinions on all these topics and if you don't like it then just give it a thumbs down simple as that but it is what it is in the end of the day i mean what can we do it's society i mean um, unless we become like the biggest memes out there and we change society somehow then okay sure why not <laughs> right on <laughs> well i think that covers everything don't you think yeah you know that's and, pretty much everything loud and clear and um i do want to thank you uh blair for joining me today and uh hopefully uh i'll get to have you again and think about uh, another topic maybe we can think and brainstorm for a future episode um people like this and we get views then we can start working full time eventually oh, yeah, next thing uh, we know we're gonna become video game streamers and just lose subs afterwards yeah like I'll quit my job at Cinnabon and I can come and do this full time with you sure that that would be great but let's see what the people want because uh, let's just think of this more like in a a little experiment we're doing right now something new something interesting um not I don't, maybe there are other youtube creators that do stuff like this and that you know that's great for them i'm, I'm happy for them but we're trying to be our own kind of zenny kind of style here but uh, i do appreciate you blair you've you, you're you've always been a great friend um I'm always here for you and if there's anything else you want to tell the audience before we end the stream it's the great time to say it all right well I guess I'll just stand on you know my name is Blair uh, you know as my dad always told me shut up or nut up so that's why we like being able to speak freely on any subject having the freedom to not you know be scared of us being censored so yeah just shut up or nut up guys Thank you. Oh, and Blair, um, if this video ever gets more than than a hundred thousand views, since this, is, since this is our like our first video, we're gonna watch it grow as a baby. And if it ever gets more than a hundred thousand views, we'll dress up like Vape Nation guys, but wear like Simp Nation shirts and just act the fool in California, because <laughs> that's what people oh, do wow. in Cali. <laughs> so. <laughs> I'll get like my my bald cap and I'll put it on and I'll be like um shoot what's that guy's name the <laughs> I'm gonna dress up as pink guy I'll oh, be a dude. fat pink guy dude dude that's something to look forward to I, I <laughs> promise that if we get more than 10 views I'll buy you a game from Steam okay yeah sure why not we'll keep our fingers crossed and um we hope the best for the future and uh we appreciate the viewer, like always. If you like this video, give this video a like. Subscribe for more content for upcoming days. And um, if you want to share this, I think sharing is the best. Um, it's the best expressive way to let us know that you know we see. I see everything. I see every single notification. So if you share it, I really do deeply appreciate you as the viewer and i know blair does too right blair yeah 100 percent. you know promote us on pornhub promote us on you know a minecraft server you know as long as you get us out there we'll know that this is what you guys like and we'll continue to supply for free because we're not invader v yeah and i'm not ally neither so <laughs> we're two humble guys and we're not perfect, but we're out there. So, until next time, guys. Peace out.
Peace out, y'all.